Just a few uh, thoughts on what's going on in Ukraine. Um, we've seen a major escalation announced uh, recently from Russian President Vladimir Putin with the revelation that they are going to undertake a partial mobilisation consisting of 300,000 reservists and former soldiers calling them up to join the war effort. Russia is clearly uh, experiencing a manpower shortage reflected in the quite astounding footage of the head of the Wagner Group, the Russian mercenary organisation, in a prison trying to persuade convicts to join the, the, the struggle, the war, the conflict, um, and if they last six months then they get a pardon. I've never seen anything like it, a major power resorting to that kind of measure. Uh, there's been grievous blunders made by Putin. The underestimation of Ukrainian forces is the, the, the chief among them. Um, which has led to thousands of Russian soldiers being killed, uh, perhaps needlessly. Uh, the Russians have been fighting this war with their hands tied behind their backs. They've been trying to uh, fight a war with half measures, um, and that's proved a blunder. And this is why now the Russians are suffering a manpower shortage, and they're also calling up um, 300,000 more troops. These men will take some time to be trained, uh, um, you're hoping they will be trained from their perspective, they won't just be thrown into the meat grinder. Uh, but the Russians need to come up with something quick in the wake of this astoundingly successful Ukrainian counter-offensive which was uh, unleashed on the 6th of September and has succeeded in retaking some 6,000 6, square kilometres of territory back from the Russians and the Ukrainians have also breached Luhansk and thus depriving Russia and the Kremlin of the boast that they control the whole of that oblast. So the momentum has swung behind the Ukrainians. They, um, they have enjoyed a huge morale boost with this uh, successful counter-offensive and there's no doubt in my mind that it was planned with the hands-on uh, advice and help and direction of US and UK military planners. They, they, were, they mounted a successful feint towards Kherson forcing the Russians to redeploy troops from the east uh, to the south to meet that, what they thought was going to be the main counter-offensive. And they surprised the Russians. It was a hugely successful manoeuvre, and probably more successful than even the Ukrainians and their backers in the west had anticipated. Uh, it validates um, those in the west who support arming Ukraine. So all the military aid is now taking effect on the battlefield, clearly. Ukrainian troops have been trained in Poland by US and UK um, military advisors. Uh, they're now being fed back into the battle. So the Russians uh, are on the back foot and there is a whiff of desperation behind um, the declaration of these four regions uh, in the south and the Donbass that they're going to hastily arrange a referenda in order to uh, be absorbed into the Russian Federation, become part of Russia which will allow Russia to claim that it's now defending its its homeland and that gives uh, that gives cause for mobilisation and other measures hitherto not taken by the Russians. They have grievously underestimated the Ukrainians' ability and willingness to resist and underestimated the extent to which the West would support the Ukrainians with a huge amount of military aid. Putin's claim that Russia is now fighting the entire Western military machine uh, in his address and he's not wrong. Uh, this is now NATO versus Russia, with the Ukrainians being used as a proxy by the West. Where this goes, nobody can tell, but escalation is now firmly on the table, and off the table completely is any prospect of diplomacy or negotiation, and that should be chilling for everyone. This conflict is now no longer about the future of Russia and Ukraine, it's about the future of Europe entire. But let's hope that calm heads prevail when it comes to the nuclear option. As the man said, a cloud no bigger than a man's hand can be the harbinger of great storms to come. Peace out.